Hello, doing a quick recording here of how to, uh, I guess, set up AMD Wattman with the new AMD Wattman drivers and kind of a little, a very basic tutorial of how to uh, set up uh, GPU tuning. Um, I'm not really too familiar with this software, so I spent some time looking, uh, researching a little bit. They have a really good forms option here if you hit this uh, help center. And then you just, you can click through here and you can find some information yourself. But what we're quickly going to look over today is under the performance tab, how to uh, set up uh, the GPU tuning. So I just updated my drivers here on one of my test drives. And uh, today we're going to be, um, yeah, setting up, I think I'll call it an undervolt overclock. Uh, I do have an RX 570 in the system. So yeah, as you can see here, Radeon RX 570. So what you need to do is first open up. Uh, when you're on your desktop, just uh, right-click, open Radeon, uh, uh, yeah, software settings or whatever. It'll pop up like this. Uh, you'll be at home, so you're gonna want to click on the performance tab here, and under the performance tab, uh, you're gonna look. There are metrics here. It tells you your GPU utilization. There's a whole bunch of cool stuff in this new driver update. Uh, but what you're gonna want to do is click on the tuning option, and then uh, from there, you're gonna want to click manual on this. Uh, tuning control because you're going to want to uh, change the voltages and everything yourself so under GPU tuning we're going to select that advanced control select that on and voltage control select that so as you can see here I have an MSI armor RX 570 so 1268 is the uh, I guess the default base frequency there um, and now what we're going to want to do is I'm not going to bother overclocking but what I will do is undervolt because I just want my GPU to run cooler so for example I'm pretty certain that 975 millivolts will be just fine for 1268 um, and then all the other voltages I'm just gonna make a little bit lower so that we don't have any issues while I guess starting up the system here so I'm just gonna lower these down to about nine yeah about nine yeah about 925 hit enter and now you've got your uh, I guess desired settings so now what you're going to want to do is hit apply changes and now that's been applied to your graphics card but now let's say you want this to automatically be applied whenever you play a certain game well the cool thing is there is a feature you don't always have to come up here and hit load profile um, now what you can do is click add game profile you can see I have a couple games loaded here so I'm going to click on Fortnite the game that I have installed and that I'd like uh, the GPU to be tuned on so I'm just going to click add Fortnite into my list of uh, I guess games to be tuned on and now here uh, let's see I believe I believe this should apply here we automatically already made a uh, profile but just in case it does it doesn't work out like this you can always um, set it up again it apply changes and this should apply to whenever you hit Fortnite so for example if we if you restart your system now and you load up your program um, in like with the Radeon drivers, it'll automatically load up these uh, voltage settings like it could take a little bit of playing around to make sure that it gets applied properly. Um, but the best way to check what your voltages are is to have MSI Afterburner installed. Here we go. MSI Afterburner. Load this up here and this will show you. Um, hang on it black screen for a sec yeah but this here will show you um, your voltages in the top uh, right hand corner of the screen so that when we are gaming now. Um, I can see that okay the core is running at 1268 and the millivolts that I set was about 975 950 so that's what it's going to uh, deliver for the GPU and now you can see we're running stable uh, we're at pretty much 100% GPU usage which I can see here GPU usage in the high percentage range there and then the cool thing is now instead of drawing 120 watts and even at that 120 watt limit that we were at uh, we weren't even getting the advertised boost clock or core clock or whatever. So you're going to need to undervolt these RX 570 or 580 video cards. And this is how you do it. Use AMD Wattman. Uh, you can play around here a bit more to figure out what, I guess, what things you need to change to get it to work properly as well. There is memory uh, overclocking here. Uh, with all these RX 570 video cards, you should be able to get them all to about 2,000 megahertz, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, but there's just a slider here. You can increase that, and that'll help with performance. Nice thing is, like, with the new drivers, they give you so much uh, detail here, and uh, I guess statistics, like, you, they tell you your power and everything, which is really cool. Uh, but, yeah, let's say you want to do this all yourself, and you don't know exactly where to go. Uh, again, just hit this, uh, I guess, Radeon uh, Help Center here, and then you can just read through, like, okay, what things did you want to configure inside the... Uh, inside the driver and then there should be a couple options here like for me I just read I read through all of this until I found <clears throat> until I found what I was looking for which was how to use the AMD Wattman tool so configure Radeon for the best gaming experience let's see 
And I'm not, like, I could have ended, ended the video already, but I kind of want to show you um, how to, like, how to find information yourself and how to go about that. Generally, a lot of this will be inside the drivers. AMD does a great job showing you how to do it, but for example, I will look under configuring Radeon settings for the best gaming experience, and one of these tabs here I found, oh, how to tune your GPU um, for a better performance, and then I just read down here. So there was a whole, like, this is the article I actually read here of how to set it up. Like, I already understood it, but what I wanted to know was how to get it to automatically apply when you start your game so that you don't have to... Um, go in and uh, go into uh, yeah the Radeon settings each time you restart your PC and hit apply. So I found I had to scroll down to about here, let's see, zero RPM should be a little further down here. Yeah, GPU tuning profiles shows you how to make a profile here. Um, all the information's here. We went through these exact steps that I just showed you. I'm not making this up. I just went here and looked at what they recommended. But yeah, so this is, there's a whole bunch of information I recommend. Um, I can't, I don't know how to link it in the video, but I recommend if you do, if you're wondering like, like how to do certain things, hit the little help icon <laughs> in the AMD drivers and that'll help you uh, figure out how to get this stuff set up. Uh, but yeah, it's super simple and I recommend if you do have an RX 570 and RX 580 video card, definitely undervolt them because it will help a lot when, um, yeah, just when using the graphics card and especially with the, uh, with the temperature here. But yeah, if you guys found this helpful, uh, you can always uh, drop a comment or if you need another video that's simpler than this uh, you can let me know as well but all the information is in this one article here and the great thing is it's in text which means if you don't speak English natively you can always throw this stuff into Google Translate and it should help you out a lot easier um, yeah thanks for watching guys and if you have any questions always reach out thanks